Very compressive. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I just got my shipment of Gymshark clothing in. And if you're anywhere on the fitness side of YouTube or you follow a fitness Instagram people, you probably already heard of Gymshark. They are an influencer activewear brand that is a little bit on the higher end. They're not the most expensive, but their leggings do run for about $70 and their shorts do run for about $40. So once Gymshark had their sale, their Gymshark sale, everyone was talking about it. I decided to hop on and buy a couple of items, a little bit of everything to see what all the hype is about, why everyone's talking about it and I just wanted to share my first impressions and some honest thoughts on this activewear to see if it is worth all the hype that it's getting. So everything I got from Gymshark is in a size small. I see a lot of fitness influencers that are around the same body shape as me do wear a size extra small but I measured myself on the size chart. I was in between sizes so I stuck with a size small for everything and let's see how that fits. I will put my measurements down below just in case you guys want a little bit of a comparison to see what fits you. So let's just get started with the item that I am most excited for. It is this pair of shorts right here. It is the Adapt Camel seamless shorts in the print savannah black. Upon holding it, the fabric does seem very nice and thick. It doesn't seem like it would be see-through at all, but I did get it in black. And the pair of shorts do have this little scrunching on the sides. All right, so here's what the shorts look like on. The size small seems to be fitting fairly well. It's kind of perfect around the waist, a very medium compression around, all around. The thighs right here do seem just a bit snug, but not uncomfortable. I think it's just snug enough that we're not going to get any riding up. Here are the little scrunch on the side. It doesn't do much in terms of flattering your figure or anything. It's just there for a little bit of extra detail on me. Here they are on both sides. Also, this, I think the seamlessness of it, it does feel nice. Um, I'm not getting any camel issues, and the fabric is thick enough that you're not getting too much of an underwear line. And I really enjoy this print. It's just a little bit more unique than a plain black one, and I do wish I got it in a different color. The next item I got is a sports bra. Right here, this is the Flex Strappy Sports Bra in light purple. It has a logo in the front and a large Gymshark logo in the back. And the fabric for this one, again, is also feels nice and thick, similar to the shorts. All right, so here is the sports bra. Size small does fit me very well around the waistband. The straps did cut in a little bit, but they do have an adjustable straps on the back. So I did just make it a little looser and now they fit fine. I love the color and the design is very simple. I paid only $14 for these, so nothing to complain about. Really like the fabric, and I can't wait to wear it to work out. So another item I did get from the Flex line is this long sleeve crop top. It also has a quite large and bold Gymshark logo in the back with a cut, cut out in the back. This top also has thumb holes, and I got it in the color light gray. Okay, so... Size small, very compressive on the arms. I feel like my arms are little sausages being squeezed. So this is what the back looks like. You can see the other sports bra peeking out just a little bit. Maybe you can cover that. I actually really like the way this top looks on. It makes me look very sporty. Other than the extremely tight arms, but I can still move in it. It doesn't take away any range of motion, just very, very compressive. Let's try taking it off now. And those are the more workout tops I got. The next couple of items are a little bit more casual. I did get this cropped Gymshark top that everyone and their mama wears. Uh, I just love the design of this. It is just a basic cotton crop top. So like I said, it's just a more plain t-shirt style. It is just a cropped t-shirt with their logo half cut in the front. This is the length it goes about. Kind of pretty sports bra length, just a crop. If I lift my hands up, it does go up. Uh, the sleeves are sewn to look like it is folded over right here. And the fabric itself isn't the softest. It, it's just, it's a little bit stiff, like a stiffer t-shirt. But overall, just love the way this top looks. I do have a shirt 
it looks kind of like this that I got for Forever 21 a long time ago. It's time to replace it, so I'm glad I got this one. I also got a pair of joggers and I'm just taking this out of the bag. They do feel a little bit thin, like very flowy. So this is the Gymshark Pippa Training Joggers in the color burgundy, but it is showing up very red on camera. It is more burgundy in person. It's not lined on the inside or anything. Inside it's the same fabric. So let's see how this looks like on. And with the joggers, I also got the Pippa Training Pullover. This one's in the color white and also same fabric, thin. You can actually see the Gymshark logo. Here's the front through to the back of the shirt. <laughs> so let's see how this set looks like on. So here is what this Pippa set looks like on. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> uh, for one, I'm not a fan of this, this soft fabric, but let's start with the leggings first. They do fit very slim. Like there's no bagginess around the leg area at all. They look almost kind of like a legging on me. But up here, there is a little bit more room where the pocket area is. And the, and the joggers do go very, very high up with space in the waistband, but that is what the drawstrings are for. And then moving on to the top. Actually, even though the top is very thin, I do like it a lot more than I like the joggers. I like where it ends, right here. Let me pull this down a little bit. And I like the band around the waist here. It keeps it nice and snug. And I think it just very casual look. Let me take these joggers off so you can see how the top looks like. So here is how the training top looks like just with my the Adapt Flex on the bottom. Very nice and casual. Really like this Pippa top. Joggers though, I'm gonna pass on them. Alright, now that I've tried on everything, I'm ready to share some final thoughts with you guys on what I think of the brand. So all in all, my favorite items were the activewear items. No surprise there, that's what they are known for. So the items such as this sports bra, this crop top, those were my favorite along with these shorts. So the activewear items, they are amazing, nice and thick, good quality. And I can't wait to go work out in those items. But when it comes to the more loungewear items, like this t-shirt, it is just a basic, basic t-shirt, like nothing special to it at all. So unless you like the design of this, there's nothing special about it otherwise. And when it comes down to these two loungewear items I've got, the joggers are a hard pass. For me, I didn't like the way it looked on and I'm really not a fan of this thin fabric for a jog pair of joggers. The Pippa training pullover top though, this one I do like. I think it is a nice, very nice top to wear to the gym to warm up in. So in terms of the top, it's fine. It just seems slightly higher quality than something you would get at like Forever 21 or a more affordable brand. So I wouldn't pay full price for something like this. So overall, I did enjoy most of the items that I got. I do understand the hype around them, but just know that not every single item that they come out with is amazing like all the athletes say they are. There is a reason why you never see any of their athletes talk about something like this pullover or the joggers and mostly they all rave about the activewear. So after this, I am thinking I might buy more Gymshark items. I do really like the way the items look on me. They make me feel so athletic. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit of something from this haul and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.